Joe Person, who broke the story yesterday that uh, Cam was going to come back. Uh, Joe covers the Panthers for the Athletic, joins us on the program. How much of a surprise was this, Joe? Yeah, Dan, it, it was pretty surprising just because, you know, Matt Rule got here in January of 2020. He and Dave Tepper, and at the time, Marty Herney was the GM, they made the decision that they were going to move on from Cam Newton. They, there were concerns mostly about his throwing shoulder. He'd had the two shoulder surgeries. Uh, he did not look, as you mentioned, like the 2015 Cam. And, 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 and the other piece of this, too, is here was Matt Rule coming in. They were going to turn over the whole roster, go young, uh, they drafted seven defensive players. And I think, and Cam has said this publicly, he felt like Rule was a little intimidated by his sort of big persona, which we've all seen. And I just don't think it was a good fit at that time. Will it be a good fit now? I don't know, but but they had to do something. Like even before Darnold's injury, it, they were getting really – I mean, bottom of the league type quarterback play. And this is a team that still is holding out hope for a playoff berth. I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, they botched this. If you look back on this, Joe, I mean, Teddy Bridgewater, who I do like, then, you know, you pay him whatever, 35 million. You trade for Darnold. You guarantee the, you know, the contract for next year. You pass on Justin Fields. And then who comes to the rescue? But the artist formerly known as Superman here. Um, how good is the team anyway, offensively? If I'm plugging in Cam Newton now, given pros and cons, uh, how good is the offense? Well, they just got Christian McCaffrey back last week, as you know. That helps. That helps a lot. Uh, they have some wide receivers that are pretty good in DJ Moore. Robbie Anderson has struggled with Sam Darnold. I think Sam Darnold... I think it was losing confidence in Anderson, but also sometimes just not seeing him and not seeing the field and the open receivers. So the problem that Cam Newton is going to find is the same one that, that Darnold faced as well. The offensive line is not good. And they're <laughs> down to, they're down to two week one starters left healthy. They're having to kind of move guys around up front Darnold. And, and, and but here's the thing. Cam Newton, he's seen that before. I mean, he, he is a professional. And not that he wants to stand in there and take it, but he's not going to get happy feet, which is what we've seen from Sam Darnold for about the past month here in Charlotte. Okay, but you've guaranteed Sam Darnold's contract for next year. I think it's, what, $19 million? What? Yeah. Is this, is this a victory lap for Cam as a way of saying, hey, we did you wrong and – Come on back and let's see if we have any magic here. Is there, is there any, let's open up the scrapbook and bring Cam back, like sentimental journey here, or is this just strictly football? I think if you talk to Matt Rule and Gen general manager Scott Fitter, it's a football decision. I think ownership, David Tepper, has seen the fan base. I mean, last week, Dan, there were a ton of Patriots fans in Bank of America Stadium. They've had other games where the Eagles filled up. You know, season ticket holders are selling their seats. Uh, apathy sets in. That's like the worst kind of deal for an NFL owner. Um, Cam will change that immediately. I mean, that they're next week. The first home game is against Ron Rivera in Washington, <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, the guy who brought Cam in number one in 2011. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah. Ownership, David Tepper realizes he needed some juice. P.J. Walker, great guy, great athlete. That one going to cut it. I mean, there were going to be a lot of empty seats here over the last two months of the season. Great to talk to you, Joe. Congratulations on breaking the story. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Dan. All right. Joe Person, he uh, covers Carolina Panthers for The Athletic, and uh, he broke this story yesterday. Cam Newton coming back to the Carolina Panthers.